This video will cover the topic, Writing an Expression as a Single Logarithm. In this topic, we will learn how to rewrite logarithmic addition, subtraction, or multiplication as a single logarithm, describing both terms in one expression. To begin, let's go over the three properties of logarithms. Firstly, the logarithm of a product. This property allows us to simplify expressions of the form log base n of a plus log base n of b equals log base n of a times b. This property allows us to combine two logarithmic expressions with the same base n. The a and b variables here can represent a variable or a constant or even another expression as shown in an upcoming example. When adding logarithms with the same base, multiply the arguments together to result in the simplified expression of the logarithm. Next, the logarithm of a quotient property. To illustrate this property, the log base n of a minus the log base n of b equals log base n of a over b. This property also allows us to combine two logarithmic expressions with the same base n. When subtracting logarithms with the same base, divide the first argument by the second argument to result in the simplified expression of the logarithm. Lastly, the logarithm of a power property. This property allows us to rewrite a logarithmic expression multiplied by a non-logarithmic term, m, as a single logarithmic expression. When multiplying a logarithm with a non-logarithmic term, rewrite the logarithmic expression and raise the argument to the power of the non-logarithmic term to result in the simplified expression of the logarithm. Okay. I don't think that I fully understand the process of how to write an expression as a single logarithm from those definitions. So can we do an example for each property? Sure. Let's begin with an example of the logarithm of a product property. Log base 8 of 21 plus log base 8 of 7. Recall that our answer will have the same base as both of the original logarithmic expressions. The argument of the simplified expression will be the argument of the first term multiplied by the argument of the second term. 21 times 7 equals 147, resulting in our final answer of log base 8 of 147. Now, let's walk through an example of the logarithm of a quotient property. To rewrite log base 6 of 55 minus log base 6 of 4, begin by writing the simplified expression with the same base as the two original terms. Next, write the argument of the first term divided by the argument of the second term, resulting in a final answer of log base 6 of 55 over 4. I think I understand those two properties now, but what about the third property? Let's do an example of how to use the logarithm of a power property, 2 times log base 7 of y minus 7, minus 6 times log base 7 of y plus 7. For the first logarithmic expression, rewrite the non-logarithmic term as the power of the argument. Repeat this process for the second logarithmic expression. Thus, the expression now reads log base 7 of y minus 7 squared minus log base 7 of y plus 7 to the sixth power. Now we can use the quotient property to write the expression as a single logarithm, right? That's right. This example shows how we can use multiple properties of logarithms when solving one problem. Using the quotient property, our final answer is log base 7 of y minus 7 squared divided by y plus 7 to the 6th power. To recap, 
we apply the properties of logarithms where appropriate. Addition uses the product property, subtraction uses the quotient property, and multiplication uses the power property. We use all properties necessary to simplify the expression into a single logarithm to result in our final answer. That's right.